Welcome to Ask Rad Rat, where I answer all kinds of questions about skateboarding topics, including some very controversial ones. Uh, before you fire up the dislike button already, um, I actually think that girls can be just as good, if not better, than men in a certain way, um, in a certain category. So just hang on, uh, let me explain the whole thing. Um, and then you can write your angry comments. All right, so this question is from VL Skate, and he says, uh, with the quit your day job video coming out, I'd be interested in your opinion on girl skaters and if they should be held to the same standards as men or if they're good for a girl. So this is an interesting question. Um, if you don't know about the video, uh, there's an all girl uh, skate video that just came out called quit your day job. Um, and it's got some of the big names in it and I haven't seen the whole thing. Transworld posted some of the uh, video parts that you could watch. Uh, they're all down now. It was like a sneak peek thing. And I've seen some of it. Um, I've seen all the trailers. I've seen these skaters in other videos. So um, I have a rough idea of what it'll be like. Um, and from the parts that I saw, it's really good. But his question is, is it fair to judge it as if that was a man? So take um, Vanessa Torres's part. If you photoshopped Corey Kennedy's face on it and said, hey, here's his new footage. What do you think? Is it fair to think of it that way? And so uh, there's a couple of different uh, things I want to talk about. So obviously men and women, much different in a lot of different ways, mentally and physically. Um, and some of the big differences I would say um, from an athletic standpoint for something like skateboarding um, are, you know, the strength and the speed and all that kind of thing. So there's an example I have for you. Um, when Venus and Serena uh, w Williams, the tennis players, were up at the top, and I think they're at the top again, but anyway, this was a while back when they were winning all the competitions and everything, they put out this challenge and they said they could beat any man outside of the top 200. So in other words, they were bragging that there were only 200 men better than them. Okay. And so this guy, I don't remember his name, but he was ranked 203 and he challenged them both, chugged two beers and then beat them back to back six to one and then six to two. And then they later changed their challenge to the top anyone outside of the top 350. So if you think about, you know, direct competition, men versus women in any kind of sport, men are typically going to be a bit better. Um, but with tennis, you might think, you know, it's more about wingspan and being able to reach. So just being physically bigger is a big advantage rather than being a man in particular. And I think there's some fairness to that because skateboarding can be more about uh, being artistic and things like that rather than um, just doing the biggest gap or the highest ollies and stuff like that. But that is a point to keep in mind. Uh, the second one is actually, uh, there was a episode of the Nine Club and it had uh, Nora Vescanellis on it. And she actually talks about the mental differences. And I'll just let her talk about it for a second. So you yeah. think that like maybe you had an advantage because you're a woman? Yeah, like, I think yeah, in a lot of ways. Yes so? and no. Yeah? Yes and no, because mm. I still have days where I'm like, damn it, if I was a guy, like I could do that. There is this little part of your brain that mm. controls your survival instinct. Go on. And it controls a bunch of, you know, your reflexes, like all this stuff. Go on. You're yep. scared, like how scared you are of things, how you handle things physically, all this stuff. Mm. Your survival instinct as a woman goes off the charts. Cause like you're supposed to like protect your body. And I've totally noticed it. Like as really? I've gotten older and skated, I'm like, damn, it's so much harder for me to like make myself do this when it used to be totally easier. So I haven't done all this research, but it sounds like she has. And so what she's saying is like, if you're trying to get psyched up to jump off of something, do something that's obviously not good for you. Um, it's a lot harder for a woman to do that same thing than a man would, not counting the actual physical challenge, just psyching yourself up to do it. Um, and so again, I haven't done that research, but um, so that's that's another thing that could be an issue. Um, but back to physical, there is one thing that could be a major advantage. Um, and so you may have done this test in school, maybe in physics class or I don't know, biology, anatomy, something like that. Uh, what you do, you take the boys and the girls and separate them and they take their chair and you put the chair with the back up to, to your front and you push it up against the wall, touch your head to the wall pick up the chair and then try to stand up. Now the boys in class typically will not be able to do it. And it's because their center of gravity is a little bit higher. So when they bend forward, their weight is on the chair 
And since you're leaning on the chair, you can't pick it up and stand up um, because when you pick it up, your head hits the wall and you just get stuck there. But girls having a lower center, gra center of gravity can do it a lot easier. And so if you think about um, having a lower center of gravity, yeah, that's not great if you wanna ollie really high, if you wanna clear things, um, because when you pull your feet up, you kinda center around your center of gravity, that's why it's called that. So guys can get higher even if you're the same height um, as, a, as a woman. So, um, but the, there's a big advantage to having a lower center of gravity, and it's balance. So if you think about um, the higher your center of gravity is and the higher, the taller you are, the more kind of top heavy you are. So imagine doing like a manual or something like that. Taller guys are typically gonna have a harder time doing tech and manual stuff. So if you look at some of the most technical skaters, um, look at Daewon Song, you know, like it's not the tallest guys who are doing that stuff. Uh, being shorter actually makes your balance better, um, at least potentially better. And so I've always been waiting for the, the female Daewon song to come out because it seems like as long as you can ollie high enough to get onto a box or a ledge or whatever, um, the technical aspect of balance should be um, potentially even easier. So that's something that I've been kind of waiting for and I haven't seen it yet. Um, but there are some examples from the, the, the video that I saw. Lacey Baker does a Nolly 180 to Fakie Manual, Fakie Vero heel flip out. Um, and also M Mariah Duran does a hard flip down nine, uh, which is kind of beside the point right now. But um, so as far as the technical aspect, um, that really could be there. And I'd like to hear your opinion on that. Why do you think we haven't seen this? And I think there's two big reasons um, there hasn't been a female day long song yet. Um, first would be the having a, a role models. Okay, so I've talked about this before. I think the reason the skateboarding skill level keeps going up and up and up is because kids growing up see these pros. They saw Eric Costin, okay? And then they grew up and they got to be even better. And then the next batch sees this new guy. They see, whatever, Corey Kennedy. And they think, oh wow, that's what you can do. And they reach to be better than him, better than him, better than him. And so for girl skaters, there have been fewer. And so there's less of a, a high bar set. And it's not that it's physically impossible, um, it's just that there has to be that inspiration. I think that's one reason. The second reason I'm not so sure about. Um, I think a lot of girls who choose to skate are the kind who are more willing to be aggressive, more sporty, more um, you know, more masculine, if, if you want to call it that. And the point of that is that they're more likely to be the kind who want to do gaps and drops and you know do like fast, rough kind of stuff. Um, as opposed to the more artistic tech stuff. Because if a girl wants to do an artistic sport or some kind of artistic outlet, there's a lot more options that are more socially accepted, right? And so I think those are two obstacles um, that are reasons why we haven't seen the female day one song yet. So anyway, um, I think that it's possible for there to be a really great technical female skater. I don't think they'll ever beat Jaws for the biggest drops in the world, but that's not all that skateboarding is about. There's so many different things you could do. You could do freestyle, you could do all kinds of other different, more technical, more balance oriented skateboarding that I think girls could excel at. Um, and I'm looking forward to seeing uh, the way it plays out. The skill level has been going way up in the past few years. So I'm looking forward to seeing where it is um, in another five. Um, well, that's it for this time. Um, post your angry disagreements below. Um, or just your questions for next time. And you can post your questions below here or on Twitter or Instagram. Um, I'll make a list and I will film some more soon. So until then, here are some more videos that I made recently that you might wanna check out. And thank you for watching.